Hey, hello, this is video number 13 of my Ultimate Ladybug course. I'm Philip, and in this video, we will look into the monthly chart compared to last video where we looked into the hourly plot. Now, why we need the monthly chart? The monthly chart is very useful to see the bigger picture of a data set, or let's say the bigger moves within. Uh, for example, what is are there any months with a very drastic change in temperature, humidity, and so on? It's very good to get a bigger picture of the situation and we will jump right in. Yeah, so this was the monthly chart, what, uh, the hourly plot chart. And what we learned here was that we can not just put one data set in one object and one hourly plot object, we can put several. And that is very convenient to actually see some differences. Oh, by the way, if you haven't watched my previous videos, please go into the show notes. I will post the link to the entire playlist and make sure you watch this because we covered a lot of stuff already. So don't miss out. Subscribe and hit the bell button. Now, this was the hourly plot we did last time and we learned that we can not just we can we can also not just put one data set but put several data sets at the same time in one in one uh, hourly plot object. That's very convenient because um, it automatically organizes your plots. I'll just go into the top view, make sure that I'm in the top view. Yes, now I am. That's very convenient. We see that there's, even though, for example, the dry pot temperature is very uh, even or very, very constant here in that data set, there is a big change in the dew point temperature and in the relative humidity. And we haven't looked at the other uh, data sets, so we could do that as well. We also learned about uh, the legend parameters about how we can dimension this, the, the plot. And we learned a bit about the visual set, which uh, improves the layout of these. We also learned that we can not just um, look at these in a 2D, a flat graphic, but we can also use the data to scale the set axis. And so we create this three-dimensional representation of the data. Now, if we, for example, would go to zero here, then the monthly chart is flat and we can see the um, the layout better. Now, the problem here is that we baked one object. So that's why this is here and we can uh, get rid of this. So we can see the actual layout um, and the lines here much better. So that was the uh, hourly plot and that needs an hourly data set. Actually, any data set does work as long as it's a data set. And we talked about data sets before as well. Now, what about the the next one? The next one is the monthly chart. It's very similar. There's, um, and we will go through uh, each of these options. Again, we can put more than one data set, but let's start with one. Let's put the drive up temperature here. It's already putting a, it's already creating a chart. Again, we want to place it close to here. So at the moment it's placed somewhere here. You can see it. Now let's get a point. I already prepared a point here and already that gives us a, a chart, but it looks quite weird. It looks, it's going to be hard to read and understand what's actually going on here. Now, when we talk about monthly data, we need to make sure that we understand, um, first of all, how we want to display it. And second, what we want to look at. Is it the maximum, the minimum, the average, a percentage and so on. So how can we deal with this? So because this is a monthly chart, but we we go in here with uh, hourly chart data set. So we need to modify the hourly chart first in order to work with this properly. And that's why we have this tool. We briefly dis briefly discussed this ladybug time interval operation. Now this is exactly what we need in that case. So instead of going directly into the data set here, we go first into this tool and now we can decide what we want to look at daily. And you can see it already changes quite drastically what the output is because now we see the daily uh, temperature or we look at it uh, monthly. And now you can see uh, in November is, is, uh, is nothing. That's because November is the lowest and that marks the maximum at uh, the minimum temperature. That's why we don't have any uh, bar here. So we have the same uh, tools here to change our size. So we could just copy this here. This time, I don't know, this is <laughs> something uh, really strange in uh, Ladybug. It's it's not consistent. 
sometimes so for example here's a default size uh, which is based not on units or is it based on units i'm not sure and then this has a different um a different unit system so for me it's something i would criticize it's like always different so let's not use it or let's use it uh but we change the size here so it, it kind of matches let's do it like this that looks good okay so now we have some something to compare and we can see that we have temperature is much red much more red here and now what we look at it's very very important we look at the average currently so the average temperature it's not the, the maximum it's not the minimum it's the average average temperature so we can change the operation here um we can look at the average that makes sense so, and you can see here when you read the text here uh you can see that the default is average so if we don't want to change it we don't need to change it we could also put the total uh by just placing a panel and that just adds up all the temperatures per hour to create like the it makes basically a mass addition operation it does not make much sense with the temperature this could make a lot of sense for example with energies energy units like for example how much um so for example how much kilowatt per hours you you could gain per per month then this makes makes a lot of sense and then there's the uh, option of a number between zero and 100 and it gives us the percentage in the case of the latest last option the number will be interpreted as a percentile of the data over the time period for example input 75 will return 75 75th percentile value of of each day month hour inputting zero will give the minimum value of each day month hour and inputting 100 will give the maximum value of each day month an hour that only works of course if we have um, a percentage a data which represents percentages so at the moment we we have just the normal data that's what we look at that's why we keep it average it's, uh, so we don't need to change anything we have the option of stacking let's check that out okay so stacking what does it mean so now for example i have two different data sets one is the dry pop temperature one is the dew point temperature um it should actually be let's try this here the stacking option so if we now have two two uh, data sets in here it automatically puts it in the same chart quite interestingly not create doesn't create a new chart um and the stacking option says here it would basically if you have uh, two data sets with the same unit it should be then you can uh, you can stack the 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 temperature for example temperature if it's temperature and um, then you can stack the output on top of each other and in, as it is here now it's placed next to each other strangely though i cannot really i'm not I, if i go on true to stack it it doesn't really stack it although both is uh temperature dry pump temperature and dew point temperature interestingly all right let's let's leave it like that not everything works maybe i have some mistake here but i don't see the mistake if you see the mistake let me know percentiles now this an optional number between 0 and 50 to be used for the percentile difference from the mean that hourly data meshes display at for example using 34 will generate hourly data meshes with a range of one standard deviation from the mean note that this is input only as signif has significance when the input data collections are hourly let's let's see so this would be my hourly data set if i change the percentile here let's, let's do exactly what they said 35 so you can see the percentage uh, deviation from the average temperature so i guess the the line here is the average temperature and this shows the deviation from it <clears throat> okay um let's stay with our monthly chart that the here nothing nothing changes and we have the dry pop temperature and the dew point temperature here time marks you can change here if let's just do it it just changes the time mark instead of instead of the month as labels it changes to hour but let's keep it as we had it you can change the title for example temperature the y-axis title you can change 
because at the moment we look at um, temperature I could say I just making up things now and then we have the same the same um, option here we could put uh, different legend parameters let's just reuse our legend parameters so you see that we can use it not just once but several times we use the same color set here it's a bit dark but yeah that's what it is if we put more stuff in here that could be interesting let's put also the uh, humidity wind speed it's interesting here and then yeah what the out what is the output let's see what the output is here report again there's nothing because we don't have an error we have the data mesh we discussed it last time so everything you see here is our meshes and texts and lines in interestingly it says here invalid mesh I'm not sure why data lines see you see there are a lot of curves in there then you have the color polylines again it says here um, only if this is hourly either monthly or hourly input the legend again so this is the same the same as with the daily at the hourly plot so you can you can bake everything into meshes and texts and lines borders you see here labels the y title it's not about how it puts out the y title here the title and then you have the same as we had before we have the visual set visualization set we can use the same here same tool place this in here and just creates a, a, a bit more cleaned up version of that set and then we have some overlapping stuff here but this is because we haven't turned off this one that's the monthly plot so this will be super useful later when we want to check um, how many hours per day how many hours per month how many kilowatt per hours and so on it's and as a as a tool com to compare to compare things uh, it's quite useful and you see although this 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 chart looks very doesn't change much during the whole year actually there is some big changes especially in the middle of the summer there is quite quite a big change humidity drops here quite a lot at the same time dry pop temperature goes up wind speed goes up yeah so there is some difference all right that's it um i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe hit, hit the bell button and see you in the next video